Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of the Robin Graham Show. I am solo again today. I'm really enjoying this. I, I so love the guest episodes and bringing you um, interesting new people, but I kind of like diving into my own brain a little bit too sometimes. And this is something, this topic is that I'm going to talk about today, something kind of um, as cheesy as it sounds near and dear to my heart. I love SEO. I think it's such an incredibly powerful tool. And we're going to dive in today to a comparison, basically, of SEO versus social media marketing. And I'm going to give you some pros and cons of each and even how you can use them together to grow your business. Um, just a quick reminder, we have one day left of the two-day it's, they're actually two separate opportunities to learn um, at the SEO free webinar. And that is this Friday, the 19th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. I will put the link to register for that in the show notes. So I would love to see you there. If this content today spikes any interest in SEO and wanting to learn a little bit more about it, Friday would be a great opportunity to learn that. There will not be a replay of the webinar. So if you can attend live, I encourage you to do so. All right. So I'm going to jump in and get started. We live in a digi digital era. I can't even say it. Digital era. And trying to grow your business in a saturated market can be challenging. So what do you do? Well, let's evaluate a couple of different options, SEO and social media marketing, and see which one you think might be the best fit for you? Which is better? Well, that's going to depend on your goals, your audience, and the level of success that you want. In most cases, it's not one or the other, but actually a combination of the two. But it's totally up to you. So let's dive into the comparison. Let's start with the fact that SEO is a long-term strategy. It's not one and done, it's long-term. And as such, it should be part of your overarching business building and marketing strategy. The key with building any successful business is to start with that solid foundation. And your website and SEO is going to be a very, or are going to be integral parts of that. Think about it. You don't decorate a home before it's built. In the same way, you don't achieve business success long-term without having built that solid foundation. And SEO, like I said, is part of that. It goes hand in hand with your website and getting found on search engines. You want your people to be able to find you with ease. Have you ever had a, t a conversation with someone and then felt disappointed when they said that they hired someone else that they found on Google. And then you wondered, well, why didn't they find me? Chances are it's because your SEO strategy isn't up to speed. Whether you're hiring someone to build your website or you're DIYing your website, SEO has to be part of that plan. So let's talk a little bit about the benefits of SEO. One significant benefit of SEO versus so social media marketing is that long-term organic traffic. When you have an SEO strategy, anyone can find you from anywhere at any time. An optimized website or optimized content can continue to bring traffic in for months and even years after it's published. When I say optimized, I mean SEO with SEO. On the contrary, social media marketing content is more like in the moment, it's short term. The posts are short lived. They're not necessarily there long term. They're not presented to your audience long term, whereas SEO is. And SEO can also help build trust and credibility. When a website is optimized and it appears in the top search results, it demonstrates authority. It shows that you're an authority in your niche. The best part about building trust and authority, well, besides the fact that trust determines buying practices, right? It's also an opportunity for immediate sales and conversions. SEO will drive 
targeted traffic to your website, which can increase the possibility of those visitors actually becoming your customers. You most likely will not get immediate sales and conversions on social media. People are distracted on social media because there's so much content and most likely are not on social media with an intent to buy. Whereas when people do a Google search and your business comes up in the top rankings, those people have gone there with intent to buy or the intent to research something very specific, which means that if they learn to trust you from their experience of seeing you in those top results as an authority, they're more likely to convert faster. It's also important to note that as, as great as SEO is for driving organic traffic to your website and increasing the possibility of sales and conversions, it is a long-term strategy. We just have to remember that. It's not that you're going to see a result on Search Engine right away. So website optimization and quality content creation are processes that take time and you can't expect to come on the scene and rank over people that have been there for a long time and have been already optimizing their content and their website. They're going to be ranked higher, at least initially, until you start optimizing your site and optimizing your content producing high quality content on a regular, consistent basis that is optimized for search engine rankings. However, when you think of it as long-term gain, it's worth it. Although it takes time up front, once your website is optimized, people will continuously find you. You have to stay true to your efforts for the website optimization, and you have to continuously I should, shouldn't say continuously, not continuously as in like constant every single day or whatever, but be consistent with updating your website, keeping it up to speed, making sure that your content is relevant and valuable and is optimized. Some of the disadvantages to SEO, the only real true, I think, disadvantage of SEO is the time that it takes to optimize your site and create high quality content. However, the content that you create for your website, such as a blog post, can then be repurposed for other things, social media, email marketing, Pinterest marketing, LinkedIn. So it's not that you're investing a ton of time and it's only going to be used once. You can repurpose it to get some mileage. So if it does take some time investment, it's worth it long-term. SEO can also be costly upfront, especially if you hire someone to do it for you. If you do it yourself, you have to think about the factor of the value of your time. So yes, you'll do it for yourself so you're not paying someone else, but your time is also very valuable and you have to factor that in. So it can cost quite a bit upfront, but if you want your website to work for you, it is worth every bit of time and money investment to optimize your site for SEO. When more people find you and convert quickly because you've built that authority and you're ranked on Google, you're going to see the ROI. It's going to be visible more quickly than not. And it's also important to note that, you know, upfront SEO seems expensive and the time investment is a lot, but it very quickly recuperates itself and that cost actually decreases over time. So yeah, investment up front, but over time that cost decreases and it's definitely worth it. So let's talk about the benefits of social media marketing. In my opinion, the biggest benefits of social media marketing are building relationships and your brand awareness. Another benefit that you can use social media marketing for is to drive traffic to your website. So it kind of does help with SEO. So when we talk about you know using one or the other, that's why I say it's best most of the time to use a combination. But I have to emphasize here, and I am gonna link in the show notes an episode that I did on building a solid foundation. Here's the thing about social media marketing. You can easily get distracted on social media. So when you're building that foundation of your business, Having that SEO built into the foundation is going to give you more opportunity for long-term success. When we talk about the disadvantages of social media marketing, some of this will make more sense because if you're on social media up 
front, you're going to get distracted. You might start comparing yourself. You might get imposter syndrome. There are a lot of things that could factor into that time you're spending on social media versus doing SEO that is always going to drive traffic to your website versus distracting you by everything else that you're seeing in that space. And ultimately, that foundation you can, if you think of it in layers, you know, you, you think of bricks building a house and you think of the layers of bricks that go into, you know, from the bottom up, um, think about that SEO being added as a strategy, or I should say SEO is at the foundation and then social media marketing is added as a layer on top of that going forward. So can social media marketing help you grow your business? Yes, absolutely 100%. Social media marketing can increase brand visibility. It can also, like I said, when you're building relationships, it's going to help you build trust. And that's a key part of growing your business is because like I said earlier, trust determines buying practices. I know you've heard me say that a hundred times, but it is so incredibly true. So in addition, social media marketing is cost-effective. It takes less time and, and if done for yourself, it appears free. Now I'm going to say appears free because again, we have to factor in your time. So if you are doing your social media marketing yourself, you have to factor in the time that you're spending doing social media marketing versus time that you could be spent on other revenue generating activities. So the platforms typically are free. Um, you can upgrade to paid platforms like Instagram. I know now they have like a subscription for verification. I want to say it's like $15 a month. Um, but generally speaking, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, they're free with the potential to upgrade your account. Same thing with Pinterest. It's free. I don't consider Pinterest necessarily social media marketing. Pinterest is a search engine. So it's more of an SEO strategy compared to social media marketing. Graphic um, design, graphic creation takes time. You can buy presets. Like my friend, Audrey Wood, um, she ha sells them on her website and they're gorgeous, they're beautiful. And you can purchase presets and that, that make your um, images look great, but you can also buy the graphics and templates from that are in Canva and then you can plug and play uh, with those. But those apps like Canva are typically free. However, if you want the pro version or you want more access to graphics, things like that, then you do have to actually have the professional version or edition of that app. So nothing is really ever truly free because you do have to factor it in your time, your energy. And then if you want to upgrade or if you want to buy graphics that are already pre-made for you and customizable to your brand. All right, if you're spending time to do your own social media marketing, um, like I said, that's opportunity that you could be spending doing other things or being more strategic in your business. So it's also important to note that you have to generate a following on social media and that is going to take time. That is engagement. And if you want more interaction, if you want those analytics to be positive on social media, mark from social media marketing on any of the social media platforms, you have to engage. And oftentimes they say you have to go on and engage before you post in order to get more eyes on your most recent post. So don't kid yourself um, and think that posting on social media is going to be easy timeless or that it's going to bring in clients quickly because that's not going to happen. It takes a while to build your credibility, to build your following, and that's all time that you have to invest into it. Some of the disadvantages of social media marketing. First, I would say just the time that it takes to create the graphics, to stay up to date with the trends and the algorithms and the shifts in, in the algorithms. Uh, engaging takes time. Um, to grow your following and to create content takes time. Um, even if you're repurposing content from a blog, you still have to take the time to decide what you're going to put on a social media graphic, what you're going to put in the caption and all of those things. So it does take time. The advent of reels and their popularity and how that has um, really kind of taken over Instagram and I guess kind of Facebook too, that that really does take a lot of extra time too, because you're creating video content. So 
you've got to factor in all of that time that can be spent and the investment of time, the, the dollar investment that time has on, on your business. Uh, second is risk. You have no control over social media marketing platforms. So if they go down or if the algorithm shifts, all of your momentum can shift and your business could be downplayed. In addition, at any point in time, your account could be hacked and you could lose all your followers. I know people who have had 15,000 plus followers and their account was hacked and they lost the entire account and had to start over. So especially if your follower base is your ideal client, that's a, a significant risk to lose those touch points and lose the opportunity to convert those people to paying clients. If they all of a sudden disappear, you've been building momentum, been building trust, and then all of a sudden they're gone. It can be pretty, um, pretty gut-wrenching, I get. You know, I thank God, knock on wood, haven't had that happen, but I, I can only imagine the stress that that would, if, the, if that's where you're building your business. So again, that's where, you know, SEO comes into play in that long-term strategy, because, you know, with, with social media and not having that control, any point in time that could go away. And then you've lost that long-term strategy because everything you built has now disappeared. Um, third, uh, visibility. Yes, I know that I said before that social media marketing is great for brand visibility and that that's a benefit of social media marketing. But because of the algorithms, your content is only seen by a very small portion of your follower count. Something like 2% of your audience is going to see your content. So it's very small when you think about SEO and the fact that anybody from anywhere in the world could find your content if you end up in a search result. So think that's it's something to think about. Um, the fourth uh, disadvantage of social media marketing is that social media platforms are very saturated. This goes back to visibility and the algorithm too, but you have to post frequently if you want to stay front of mind and stand out in your area of expertise or your niche. And even with consistency and volume, it is hard for small businesses to stand out in the middle of the plethora of these influencers and larger scale businesses that have, you know, sometimes a million followers because the, the algorithms do push traffic towards those people that are posting more, are more popular, have more engagement. So something to keep in mind. In summary, the ultimate decision is yours right? It's very specific. It's very individual. It depends on how you want to spend your time and whether or not you're, you have long-term goals for your business and what your business needs are and also where your clients, potential clients, where your community, where your audience is searching. But in a nutshell, I, I have to say SEO is a stronghold for long-term success and a lifetime of earning potential. Because when you build a foundation, you can adjust with the economy and the demands, and it will never be taken away from you. That is not to say that social media marketing is bad. It has its place and it can be fun. And it's so great for building relationships and it can help you reach a large audience quickly when it's done right. And it can also like just provide that personal touch, so to speak. But again, that's in, involves engagement. So that's you building those relationships. That's you spending time there to engage. There can be more opportunity for that long-term growth with SEO because SEO increases and optimizes your online visibility. And the key here is organically. Although social media marketing can help increase brand recognition, there are those risks that we talked about before, and you don't have those same risks with SEO. Because of algorithms, you have no control over who sees your content or the amount of time that content is visible. Whereas with SEO, 
you can reach the masses and that content is visible long-term. People can find you through search engine efforts for years down the road. Both SEO and social media marketing require strategy. And that is something that I have to emphasize because it's not, neither one of them can you just throw stuff up and expect it to work. You have to have a strategy and you have to build on that strategy continuously and consistently. But when used in combination, you may even have better results because then you're driving traffic to your website in multiple ways. So think of SEO as long-term growth and visibility and strategy and social media marketing is more of the, in the moment, building um, relationships for increased, for increased visibility. Investing in SEO for long-term growth, lead generation and success is a smart decision for your business. While investing in social media marketing can also provide benefits. The choice is yours, but no matter what you choose, realize that you have to have a strategic plan with how you're going to make either one of them work for you and how you're going to build on that plan over time and gradually to, to make them work for you, to, to be able to work effectively together and to truly grow your business for the long term. Consistency is the key. Showing up consistently and creating content, high quality, valuable content consistently is going to be the key. All right, that's it for today. This was a quick and dirty one. I hope that you found it helpful. Again, if you're curious about SEO and creating an SEO strategy, uh, have that webinar coming up and I would love to see you there. The link to register for the webinar on May 19th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be in the show notes. And there's also in the show notes, some links to other episodes, previous episodes, one on the solid foundation and how to build that, what that means to have a solid foundation for your business for the long term. And then there's another one on how to grow your business without using social media. And then there's another one on visibility and how to use PR to increase your visibility. So I've linked those in the show notes as well as the link to the free uh, ebook on 10 strategies to start and grow your business without using social media. So again, I like social media for building relationships, brand visibility, growing trust, but I do believe 100% SEO is the key for long-term gains in your business and long-term growth and opportunity. But again, the decision is yours. You guys, I would love to hear from you. If you found this information helpful today, please leave a rating and review. That would mean the world to me. And it does help me build the show and help me be able to get better guests as well as it gives me content ideas too whenever you take the time to write a review. So if you would do that, that would be super, super helpful. If you know anyone who is trying to grow a business and you want to share this episode with them, that would be spectacular too. But most importantly, if you have questions about SEO or if you have specific topics that you would like to hear me talk about going forward, I even to bring in guests, um, guests to talk about specific topics, shoot me an email. I would love to hear from you. Or you can hit me up in my DMs at the Robin Graham on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn. That's where I spend most of my time is LinkedIn. But I would love to hear from you. And you can always email me at info at the Robin Graham.com. Guys, I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for being here. And I wish you all the best. <laughs>